in there is a universal Diophantine polynomial, which can be explicitly constructed. And there is a very nice version of Gödel's first incompleteness theorem in our theory S, which arose essentially from that well-known paper by Emil Post in 1943. Uh, now, this is something uh, I want to mention at this point. And this is not well known. Uh, the halting problem cannot be solved algorithmically because you cannot build an algorithm for all instances. But if you get a numerical specific instance, there is, I'm just saying, there is, I'm not saying that you can, uh, can I'm not saying that you can explicitly construct it. There is an algorithm that settles that specific instance or any finite set of instances. So uh, every instance of the halting problem is, so to say, within the reach of some algorithmic construction. Only we cannot collect everything together. That's that's the the main obstacle. I'm just giving you an idea of what lies behind what we have done. So it's nearly solvable, but it's not solvable by an algorithm because of this, uh, this obstacle. <coughs> Here comes the first result. Uh, there is an explicit expression for the halting function, but if we use it, that explicit expression, which will, will soon appear, in order to prove a Rice-like theorem. Rice's theorem is one of the most devastating results in computer science. It says that nothing interesting, no interesting property of any program, of any set of programs, can be algorithmically decided. Uh, I'm just using a waving hand statement of the theorem, please. But this gives you an idea. So we cannot test for viruses in general. We cannot test for the good behavior of programs. There will always be those huge programs, with lots of gaps and bad points, uh, strange behavior all the time, because you cannot have a general, you don't have a general procedure to test for those things we deal in everyday life. That's the point. And specifically, we cannot test for viruses in the general case. So viruses are a computational plague that is here to stay. This is the version of Rice's theorem in this theory of ours, S, which, as I said, means either PA or ZFC. Given a theory of theory S, there is a term. We can explicitly construct this term, Z, so that S doesn't prove that Z has property P, and S doesn't prove that Z doesn't have property P. So everything turns out to be undecidable in mathematics. We can't extend Rice's theorem to the whole of ordinary mathematics. Very skimpy fragments of mathematics uh, turn out to be decidable, as by the way everybody knows. Uh, Rice's theorem, again, this is the way uh, it's a variant of the preceding result. Uh, this is one of the first uh, undecidability results which has bearing in economics. It, it means that there is no general algorithm to decide for fixed points. Fixed points, fixed point theorems are essential in mathematical economics because they allow us to prove the equilibrium of markets. So this undecidability result in the general viewpoint shows that you cannot decide whether competitive markets, for instance, have reached 
uh, an equilibrium point. This is the main content of Tsuji's theorem. Now the halting function. It's, it's beautiful, it's nice. It's a small integral, very compact. If you open it up, okay, it's a monster, but can be very nicely summarized. This is the sine function. We obtain this function here out of this integral. It has a decay. It was Newton's idea to avoid bad points in the extreme situation, but not cutting them. In full, just leaving a remainder. And Essentially, this thing here is a transform through a technique developed by Daniel Richardson in 1968 of the universal uh, Diophantine polynomial. So here you have, a, uh, in a coded way, a universal Turing machine which becomes something smooth. You make some manipulations to get the numbers you wish. And here is the halting function. There are, in fact, in infinitely many exp such expressions. I believe this is one of the simplest. And it has lots of connections with mathematics. When we go from here, from this expression, the theory of Fourier series and the Hilbert spaces, lots of nice things, fancy things in mathematics. We, we haven't explored that. Hmm? Let's go on. And now I'm going to state a few undecidability and incompleteness results. They are stated for ZFC, but can be substituted for NES. Well, the first one is our Rice-like theorem. Then this is the general undecidability result for any predicate, non-trivial predicate. This is a version of Gödel's size of proofs theorem, which also applies to anything you, you wish to deal with. There is more. Uh, this, this one is very, very beautiful. Do problems like Fermat's problem, or the human hypothesis, or uh, Wolpach's uh, conjecture uh, exist everywhere, or they are just exceptions? They exist everywhere. That's a point here. Given any non-trivial predicate P in ZFC, there is one, of the, one term such that you can only prove that the term satisfies P if and only if one proves him. Uh, you can go as far as you wish along the arithmetic hierarchy. So this problem is uh, you, you can uh, get a term so that the decision problem turns out to be uh, uh, by m plus 1, but not below. Uh, there is, you can even go beyond the arithmetic hierarchy. Yeah, um, well, okay, you, you, you can juggle with that kind of thing. Uh, and, of course, you, you get expressions of these theta functions, not just for uh, 